What a game for LSU. They do it again. They pull off the upset of Florida two years in a row. Don't need a shoe toss to do it this time. All they needed is Tyreon Davis-Price, who had a monster game with 36 carries for 287 yards and three touchdowns, breaking the school record held by Leonard Fournette for rushing yards in a game. And he didn't do anything crazy. He's not this back that's going to sprint past everyone, but he is a back that has good patience, good vision, and definitely a lot of contact balance in his game. So this first play is early in the game. We got two pullers coming around in a tight end and attack uh, the guard, actually. And he's just going to slow play it here. He's going to see this opening. I mean, how could you not see it? And then from there, he uses, there's not going to be any hit on him. You can see he plants his foot on the ground because this defender is outside of him. We have green grass to the left. And the defender hits him, but he gets low as well. Good contact balance to stay upright. So broken tackle there. Then we got two guys coming in here that have to finish the job from there. So he obviously had some big runs, but these were the kind of runs that kind of wore Florida down that were that set up the big runs. We're not going to look at the big runs today uh, in terms of the he had like a long touchdown run. We're not going to look at that. But these are the ones that really got them going, really got this offense to a good start, uh, and really wore down Florida's defense. They had to do a lot to take him down and it's a consistent theme and it was a big reason why LSU was able to pull off the upset today. Next play is late, later in the first quarter and Davis Price is going to have a, a, an ability to stay upright even though he doesn't uh, keep his eyes up. So here we're getting some contact there. He lowers his head so he's not really sure what he's looking at but again contact balance keeps him upright. And then from there, we get this safety coming in. We absolutely just thumps him right there. Stays upright, like I said. You're going to have to do a lot. He's a sturdy guy. Over 200 pounds, you're going to have to hit him harder than that, especially if you're a safety. He's just too strong with his legs. Uh, even defensive linemen with one arm aren't going to be able to take him down. It's a good push by the offensive line here, especially up the middle. And you're just going to have to do better than that. And these are the kind of plays, like I said, War Florida down. And they're the reason why they eventually they break out bigger runs because he is taking hits like this, not going down. It has to be a little bit demoralizing if you're the Florida defense. And just a great run by him to not only pick the pick up the first down because it's third and six here. So that's a huge, huge first down for them, huge first down for LSU. And then like I said. This is going to lead later in the game because the more the more line, demoralizing runs you're able to put together like this, where you're able to take hits like that. I mean, watch this in full speed. He doesn't even like go back that much. Now he stops his momentum, so allows his teammate to come get, uh, the, finish the tackle, I should say. But he's able to just stay upright and pick up a few extra yards. First down's way back here, and he picks up another five or six yards just because he's not going down on first contact. He most of the time didn't go down with second contact. Just a great overall overall performance. And the last one here that we're going to show is probably the most impressive from Saturday. When in doubt, follow the pullers. And Davis Price did a good job of doing that on a lot of these runs. And you're going to see that again here. We're going to get both the left guard and the left tackle are going to pull here. And they are going to one is going to kick out and the other one is going to lead uh, through the hole and we're going to see exactly what he does uh, he does a really good job of reading his blockers making cuts off of blocks letting his guys do all the work so here first of all like i said left guard here is going to kick out the defensive end brenton cox there that leaves a wide open hole because we get a good push from the other lineman to put wash guys out. And then we have the tight end coming through and he's taking on a safety. And the nice thing here is that we have tight end on safety. We have another defensive back going against a lineman. That's obviously going to go in LSU's favor. And then from here, he's going to read the tight end block here. So if this defensive back goes to the outside, he knows he's going to cut in. If the defensive back goes inside, he knows he has a two-way go here, essentially. He's got two lanes to go through because we're not really worried about this guy since there's a guy with 100 pounds on him 
trying to block him. So here we see defensive back goes outside. Davis Price, look, his eyes are up. He sees that, and he's going to cut through. This isn't even the most impressive part about the run. That comes right now. Boom. Another, again, not wrapping up. You have to wrap up with a guy like this. He's too strong in his lower body to be able to just hit him like this. And, again, that is going to hurt tomorrow. It doesn't even really affect him. Obviously, there's a bunch of tacklers there to finish the finish the tackle, finish the play. But he's too strong, and especially if he gets low. So here you can see he sees that there's a guy here, embraces the contact. Look how he lowers his pads so quickly. Lowers his pads, lowers his center of gravity. So therefore, when he gets hit, he doesn't fall down. Now, he doesn't keep his momentum. He doesn't keep his speed, but he's still keeping his center of gravity, keeping his balance. This is what we talk about when we say contact balance uh, to start with. Now, it'd be nice if he could just keep going here, but he, he has four Florida Gator guys around him. So another great play by him. This was just a great effort by LSU overall. Uh, I'm very surprised that they were able to win this game. But when you see runs like that, it's really going to be evident why they won the game. The physicality they played with, Florida was not ready for. And this offense showed us that they can still score points. And when they need to run the ball, they can give it to a guy like Davis Price. And he's going to lower the boom and, and make an impact for them. 